Welcome back to Dallas Mass Concepts. Um, today, what we want to look at is a parent's question that came 2014. Uh, so here is a question. It says the diagram below, the diagram below, not drawn to scale, shows the position of three ports PQR. All right, we're seeing the three ports in the diagram right there. All right, all right. Um, they were they gave us some information as you could see here. We got some information right here that Q is eight kilometer from P. It is on, I'll say that it's right there. Also that um, R is a hundred kilometers from Q right here on a bearing of 66. This is not, was not written. So I'm just gonna put it on. Remember all bearings are from the North. So from Q, there was a 66 movement come here like that. So this is the 66 degrees that we're referring to, all right? And then 54 degrees was given to us right here already. Now, let's see the questions that they want to ask, right? So the first question is that they want us to calculate, here it is, question one, calculate the bearing of P from Q. Let me list, let, let's look at that. The bearing of P from Q, let's go again. We're supposed to show the bearing of P from Q. That means I'm going to go to Q and set my bearings until it touches a line that leads to P. There it is. So that's the bearing of P from Q. But definitely we're seeing that, hey, we have all of these measurements already. So this one is very simple. If we should add the 66 plus the 54 right there, we would have gotten the bearing that we need. So this one is 66 plus 54, and that's going to give us 120 degrees. So that's the bearing of P from Q. All right. Let me put it on. I'm not going to put it somewhere. I'll just write it on the outside. 120 degrees. That bearing comes right here. All right. All right. Let's, let's go to the next question. The next question says, um, the distance PR correct to two decimal places. All right, good. So we want to find PR correct to two decimal places. So let us look on what it is that they really want us to find. They really want us to find, they really want us to find this PR. There it is, this distance. So they want us to find that distance to two decimal places. Definitely we're seeing that we have an angle between two known sides here. So the cosine rule, right? So the cosine rule is what we're gonna be employing now. So the cosine rule says the side across from the angle square is equal to 100 square plus 80 square minus two times 100 times 80 times the cos of the angle, which is 54 degrees. Now let us just put these out. Um, 100 square will give us 10,000. 80 square will give us 6,400. For this part, I normally advise people to put all of this on the calculator one time, right? Because this is all multiplication. So we're talking about negative two. So you can say minus two times 100 times 80 times the cosine of 54. And please make sure that your calculator is in degree mode. So that's gonna give us minus 9404.56, all right? So we're getting that right now. So let's, let's finalize this, let's finalize this. 10,000 plus 6,400, and then we're gonna take 9,404.56. All right, so we're left with 6995.44. So in order to find PR, definitely we have to take the root of this. So let's take the square root of that. And our answer is 83.6387. But Remember though that the question says here that we need P 
PR correct to two decimal places. So then we're going to fix this now to sue the question. So in rounding off, let us identify the digit that is in the spot. And then we look to the immediate right. There you go, eight. So if, if the number to the immediate right is in the zero to four category, we leave the spot. If it is in the five to nine category, we increase the spot by one, all right? So definitely we're gonna increase this part by one. So the answer is 83.64 kilometers. There it is, there's that. All right, so having that, let's go to the next question. All right, so I could put, I could put the response here. All right, the next question says, determine or calculate the measure of angle QPR to the nearest degree. QPR, QPR, let's go for that. QPR, let's mark the angle. QPR is right here. So in marking that angle QPR, they want us to find that, but definitely we could do this on the other side here, like we could just come here, right? So in doing QPR, what we wanna do is to focus on the things that are uh, necessary. So let me take off some things to clear up the, the thing. Let's take off all of these stuff. We want to clear up the diagram so that we could look at it. So very, pretty much we are looking at having, having a side, we have an, an angle and we have this opposite side here and the angle they want me to find, they gave me the opposite side here. Now, when we have angles and opposite sides, we're dealing with the sine rule. So in this case, I could simply say 83.64 over the sine of 54 degrees is equal to 100 over the sign of the angle we intend to find. We can cross multiply right now, all right? So we could cross multiply easily right now by saying 83.64 times sine of the angle that we wanna find is equal to 100 times the sine of 54 degrees. Now we could simply divide both sides by 83.64. When we do that, we are saying that the sine of the angle that we want to find is equal to this. 100 times the sine of 54, we divide that by 83.64. All right, so the sine of the angle that I want to find is 0.967. So the sine of the angle is this. So if I want to find the angle, I'd have to do arc sine or sine inverse, 0 0.9673, and it's gonna give me that angle. So let's do that. And the angle that we get is, is that Q, angle Q, P, R is equal to 75.30, but they did ask for a specific um, angle that it has to be given to the nearest degree. To the nearest degree is to the nearest whole number. So in this case, the answer is 75 degrees. And there it is. Um, the bearings question that came, all right, 2014 in the section two of the CSEC paper. All right, please like, subscribe, and drop a comment. Thank you.